Hello. I'm so glad and it's very great honor of me to be selected as a semi-finalist of Hakade Prize. This time I would summarize my project as do we know what was done. Actually the initial motivation was can we make a small SD card size Arduino or actually that was not my idea it was released by Intel a couple of years, years ago but Intel did not realize it. Uh, when we see the form factor of Arduino, it has a lot of terminals. It is ideal for the rapid prototyping, but in many cases, uh, such a lot of terminals are not required in many cases. Just that one or two terminals are required. And also the size is very large. And uh, so I made, uh, I tried to make a SD card size Arduino. Actually, this is a initial one. Uh, which consists of 80 mega 8 working as a 60 megahertz and I made an next one which is a basis consisting of 80 mega 328 exactly the same as Arduino Uno, Mini, Pro and so on and I put 4 LED to see the fundamental operation and actually the initial stage I use this type of wiring, wiring connecting the SD card and the uh, Uno, and uh, but this is not so smart. So I made much more smart, smarter device, which is a SD Uno lighter. It looks like a SD card reader, but is not. And uh, in this device, I inserted the USB TTL interface, FTDI device, uh, inside this small device, and just inserting. The <coughs> curd and connecting the USB interface, we can see the result of updated, uploaded the binary data, and the result is showing by the four LED. And um, but just to see the result of the LED blinking is not so interesting. So I inserted some sensor. The initial one was a pressure and temperature sensor, and the result is indicated by the LED. And the second one is I inserted the piezo element inside the SD card so this card can sing, play some music by the piezo element by um, using the beep. And also I made a bit more advanced one which has a pressure, temperature and the humidity. Humidity is also very important value uh, to, to see the atmosphere. And um, now we can see the result by the blinking of the LED. Now it's green. Green means good for health, for human body. Even in the 21st century, a lot of people are dead in summer season by heat, high temperature. By using this type of small device, I hope a lot of people, uh, a lot of life can be saved. But just to see the result by the blinking LEDs is not so interesting. So I made a bit more advanced one that is a OLED graphic display. And now the result can be seen by this screen. Oops, it does work. Yes, it's showing the current temperature, pressure, and humidity. But the thickness is around the twice of the original SD curved form factor, so I made a bit more advanced one which has a smaller OLED and the thickness is now the thickness is almost the comparable to the SD curved. The result will be shown, but a small factor, so the all of the data cannot be shown simultaneously, so it is switching temperature, pressure, and humidity. Now you may think, okay, you make some kind of atmosphere sensor. That is not true. I want to make a very universal programming environment, a very low price environment. So now it is uh, working as a sensor, atmosphere sensor. But of course, if we change the program to another one, now, for example, now I uploading Another program, please wait. It can be Nyan Cat Player. Have fun.